Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Good to see you back. In the last video, we talked about Microsoft Sentinel workbooks, where we have used the existing templates, and then we have seen that how we can use the existing templates to create the workbooks. In this video, we'll see that how we can create the custom workbooks. So without further ado, let's start. To create a new workbook, click on Microsoft Sentinel. If you don't see the Microsoft Sentinel, just go to the search bar and search for Sentinel. So you'll see an option for Microsoft Sentinel. Click on that. Click on the Sentinel that you have created. Let's hide this one. Click on Workbooks on the left-hand side under Threat Management. Okay, so out here we can see that we have two saved workbooks, which we can see under my workbooks. Now, to create a new workbook, we need to click on Add Workbook. So this is the new workbook default template, what we can see out here. What we need to do is that to create our own workbook and use the queries that we wanted to use, click on the edit. So when we click on the edit, it will give us an option to edit this workbook. So let's click on edit. Then let's delete this one. So by clicking on remove, click on yes, click on three dots, click on remove, click on yes. Now, this is the blank workbook that we have now. Click on add and click on add text. So let's say that we are creating it. This is new workbook for management to see sign in logs. Let's take an example. We are creating this workbook for signing logs. As per your requirement, you can create the workbook. Click on done editing. So this is what we can see out here. Click on add again. Now click on add parameters. Click on add parameter. So out here we need to select the options which we wanted to see. So now Let's start with, let's say we wanted to see subscription first. So click on subscription and type the name. So whether we wanted to make this field as a required field. So we'll say yes. Do we allow multiple selection? So as of now, I only have one subscription, but yeah, if in case you have multiple subscription, then you can select allow multiple subscriptions. Okay. You can also limit the multiple subscription. So if in case you only want a number of subscriptions to be selected, click on limit multiple subscriptions. And that's where you can mention the maximum selected items which you wanted to allow. So as of now, I'm not limiting it. Even I don't have multiple subscriptions. So I'll just unselect this option. Now this is for the explanation. You can define what this parameter is for. In the drop-down menu, when you click on the drop-down, do you want to see your subscription or you want it to see any one option also? So out here, when you click on drop-down, you will see any one option also, which means when you click on this, it will select any subscription which you have. So default selected item, you can select any one or auto. So I'm not selecting any one. What we need is the subscription to be selected. Okay. So all good for this one. Let's click on save. So here we can see the subscription. I'll explain you the difference between the style out here. What is the difference between bills, standard, form horizontal, and form vertical? So once we list all the parameters, I'll show you what's the difference between them. Let's add one more parameter. Click on add parameter. And now this time we want resource picker. So we'll say resource. 
So again, I'm not making any other changes. So I'll click on save. And let's add one more for time. So we'll say time range picker. We'll give it a name. So if you want custom range to be selected, you can select the allow custom time range selection. Click on save. So we have all these options now. Now for subscription, it is unset. So we'll say that, okay, select our subscription, what we have right now. Now let's talk about these styles. What all different styles that we have. So default style is pills, what we can see over here. And this is the pill style, what we can see that all these, all these uh, parameters are showing in the pills form. Now if we change this to standard, so this is how the standard look like, okay? If we change this to form horizontal, so it will give us the horizontal form. So where the title will be mentioned out here and the form will be on the right hand side. And if we select form vertical, so this is how it will look like. I hope I'm clear. So we'll go with the bills because it looks nice. Now, once we are done with the editing, if in case we wanted to add some more parameters, we can click on add parameter. And as per your requirement, you can click on the parameter type. And that's where you can select all these options. So we don't want to select any other option, but yeah, if in case you have a requirement, you can select that. So now let's say done editing. So we are done with that. Now the next thing is let's click on add, click on the add query. Now what we need to do, we need to add a query. So when user will come to this page or when you will come to this page, it will run this query. This workbook is going to show you the result of this query. Okay, so let's take an example. We want some sign in locks. So let's use this query to get information of signing locks. Now click on run query to see whether it's working or not. Yep, so we can see that the query is working and we can see the result if we scroll down. We can see the result type, we can see the location, and we can see the identity. So you can modify the query as per your requirement. And one good thing with the workbook is that you can change the visualization. If you don't want result in this format, you can click on visualization, and then you can say that you want this to be converted into area chart, or you can uh, seriously Output is not compatible with that. So let's change that. Let me see if I can modify the query to make it compatible. Okay, now it looks good. So here we can see that the information is coming in the bar chart format. Let's talk about the area chart. So here we can see the area chart. It is showing. Let me zoom out. Okay, so here we can see the result. Now let's take an example. We want uh, it in a pie chart format. So that's how it will look. Okay, so once you are done with the query as per your requirement, let me change this back to grid. And here we can see the output. So once we are done, once you're satisfied with the query, and once you're satisfied with the output, click on done editing. So this is how it will look like. So the resource, it's gonna select the log analytics workspace and the time range is where you can select whether you want for the last one hour or you want it for a longer duration. So let me select this for let's say 24 hours and I'll say save. So when you save, it's gonna ask you the workbook name. So let me give it a name. And here in the, I'll select the existing resource group. And for location, we'll select Australia East. 
And now let's save this. Okay, it is saved now. So this is how you can create the custom workbooks. So once you're done with that, you can close this. And out here under save workbooks, we can see three now. So the new workbook that we have created, we can see that with the name of sign in logs. And it also shows that this is the custom. So click on this and here it shows the view save workbook. Click on that. And now we can see our workbook. If you wanted to further modify it, click on add it. And now you can modify your query and you can make all the changes which you wanted to make. I hope you like this video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thanks friend for your time. Bye friends, keep smiling and have fun.